Manchester United recently knocked out of the FA Cup by Middlesbrough. Let's get down to business on Mail Talk Football. You know when the season started, right? Ole is at the wheel. They signed Cristiano Ronaldo back. They had Jadon Sancho from Dortmund. They even signed Rafael Varane from Real Madrid. The club's vision was fine. We'll go deep into the Champions League. We'll fight for the Premier League title race. We might just might go to win the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. But now, come February, the club is not in the Premier League title race. The club is knocked out of the Carabao Cup. The club recently got knocked out by Middlesbrough, a championship team in the FA Cup fourth round. And maybe, just maybe, they might even get knocked out by Atletico Madrid in the UEFA Champions League. Let's start. Let's start with the FA Cup game. Okay, let's analyze it. The lineup. First, look at the lineup right here. Having a strong lineup. When you see Bruno Fernandes, Cristiano Ronaldo up front, on the wings, Jaden Sancho, Marcus Rashford, Varane, Maguire, everyone was there. You expect, okay, Manchester United mean business. They're gonna knock Middlesbrough out with a 5 nil, 6 nil, or even a 10 nil margin of a victory. But guess what happened? The full time whistle blew at 1 1 draw. You wrote Manchester United missed big chances. Ronaldo missing the penalty, Bruno Fernandes missing open play goals, and then even Marcus Rashford and Jadon Sancho. They were inconsistent. Yes, come the first half, they were pressing, they were pushing, they were playing fast. Even Pogba was there. Pogba came back from injury. Yes, on the wings, through the center. Ronaldo Pogba link up. Ronaldo Bruno Fernandes link up. Everyone was set. But only the goals were missing. Why? Why is there inconsistency around the Manchester United team? I believe when you are having Bruno Fernandes, quality clinical finishers, any day of the week, they will bury or convert those chances. Cristiano Ronaldo, over 800 goals. My man, on his birthday, couldn't convert the crucial penalty that was needed. And I now feel like, because of this, because of this, the club is, the players is losing motivation in everything. Their only way to a title this season is the UEFA Champions League. And that is a long, 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 long shot, I believe. A very big long shot. Playing against Middlesbrough, right? A championship team, you expect... Not not the game going to extra time. Not even extra time. You expect the game to be over in the first 45 minutes because United are that strong. With Fernandes, I can name them over and over again. But it doesn't matter because when you don't convert those chances, when you, when you create 15 chances and you don't even convert one, then that is a problem. And this is what happened with Manchester United. They were lacking the finishing touch. And I, I, really, I really feel like because... When they are pressing from the wings, they are pressing from the centre, they are passing through the middle, everything was in place, the link-up was perfect. But the, if you are missing the finishing touch, then you can't win games, even against a championship side or Atletico Madrid or any team, in, for example. This where, is where United need to focus and concentrate and get better on. Because if they do this again and again, they are costing points to them, they are dropping trophies that they can win. And they're even going down and down in the Premier League position. I really hope, I just, I really, really hope that Manchester United go a long way in the UEFA Champions League because that is their only way. I'm a Cristiano Ronaldo fanboy and I really, really want him to succeed because his career is now ending in two, three years. And I want him to play at the top of the game, at the top of the level and not in a team like Manchester United where he needs to fight off against Middlesbrough where he used to fight off in the Champions League final. The, the comparison is staggering. What else can I say? The, it's, it's sad seeing Manchester United like this because I'm really following them this season since Cristiano Ronaldo came back. And seeing them in this position doesn't just feel good to me. The problem starts with the crazy confusing decisions the board is making. First, yes, they sacked Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They brought in Ralph Ragnick. Fine, that is good because United were going haywire in Ole's reign. But then, when you know you need signings, when you know you need to implement some new philosophies, they don't bring any player in the January transfer window. Instead, they loan out Anthony Martial and Donny van de Beek to respective clubs, Sevilla and Everton. You know the club is lacking in players. There are no wingers except for Rashford, Lingard or uh, El uh, Elanga is new. Elanga is a youngster and even Jadon Sancho. Jadon Sancho is inconsistent, suffering with injuries right now. You expect Anthony Martial to step up but instead they loan him out. 
then Donny van de Beek should should deserve a starting place in the Manchester United squad. Yes, he's well good. He will develop over Scott McTominay or even Fred. And now, yes, they are waiting for a new manager. They are thinking, let's get a permanent manager in. Then maybe we'll sign some new players. And Ten Hag from Ajax and Pochettino from PSG are even linked with them. But the club is in shambles. The club is in a dire state. There is no philosophy right now. There, yes, Ragnik is trying, but the club is not responding to him. Ragnik wanted a new midfielder, but instead they loan out the midfielder to another club. Give Ragnik some more time. Give the players some more time. A little bit more time. Yes, let them gel in. Let them be clear. Yes, we want to do this. Yes, let the finishing touches get better. The things will get better for Manchester United, I feel like. And yes, I really hope, as a Cristiano Ronaldo fanboy, I'm really following them this season and I want them to succeed. And this FA Cup exit will hurt them definitely because this was their only shot at winning a trophy that was realistic. UEFA Champions League, there's a lot of competition there. And I, if United even go into the quarterfinals or semifinals, it will be considered an achievement for them. But I really hope they do something, that they can they get a top four finish in the Premier League and might, just might even win the UEFA Champions League. It's a long shot, but still it's possible. This is football and this is Mabel Talks Football. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah.